stinkies. I hope you guys are doing well today. Welcome back. We're doing something different. Long story short, someone commented on my YouTube video probably three or four weeks ago and was like, hey, Cruz, have you thought about doing booze cruise? And I was like, dude, that's a great idea. <laughs> One, the, the name's funny because it's a play on Blue's Clues. But two, I've been wanting to do some more solo kind of drinking streams here and there because getting people to kind of like time things up for drinking stuff's a little difficult. So I figured, you know, why not? I'll do that and play the Stanley Parable. So that's exactly what I did. I did prior to this. Okay, I just want to preface. I did slowly warm up to drinking. I'm not blackout or anything. Put a nice comfy little drinky stage. I drank for like an hour or two hanging out with chat. Kind of got to that stage, you know, casually and, and hung out and stuff. And then bada bing, bada boom, I played the Stanley Parable, <laughs> which I'd never done before, which was hilarious. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this. And obviously I love reading your guys' comments. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. Bye. I, if you spoil this, I will perma ban. I love this game. Yes. If you don't know, I've never played this game before. So yes. Okay. I've never played this before. I know I've said this like 50 times now, but yeah, here we go. Hold on. I want to line real quick. Please enter the current time. Okay, 7.44 p.m. Notes, accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay. Okay. Begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Am I Stanley? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Ooh. Employee number 427's job was simple. Okay. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Sounds like me. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Okay. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Okay. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, mm. as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley has a pretty simple life, Alex. I admire that. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Okay. Something that would forever change Stanley. Uh oh. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Okay. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Was anyone else even at the job site that day? Okay, I'm, okay, so I am Stanley. Oh man, I'm definitely in the drinky state right now. Not drunk, but like definitely drinky. Okay, feeling good is where we're at right now. We're at comfy drinky stage. This will be interesting. Yeah, tipsy stage. All right, play, it's booze cruise. Okay. Got 1,600 PPS, kind of rough. I can't open that. Okay, what about this one? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? They died. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, okay. Uh, the meeting room. What if I got a shit? What the fuck is the meeting room? Uh, I feel like I need to follow the open doors. Stanley went around, touched Stanley, clicked on literally every single door in the office. Well, you... Because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Ah, oh, you never know, all right? Just because you keep the doors open, do some of these games hide shit? Oh, this fucking guy. He's going to judge me for everything I do. I want another lime after that. Someone mentioned to get me some tequila. I, I can be sober and I'll still eat limes. I will not lie, though to hide my lime addiction, my crippling lime addiction. If someone offers a tequila shot at the bar, I do take it because I get a lime with it. And I want, I like limes. I won't lie. Yeah. I, I'm a lime alcoholic. It's not, I'm not there for the alcohol. I'm there for the lime. Okay. What time is it? It's pretty fucking late. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Since you got, I got roasted for touching doors. I'm just gonna keep going through it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, fuck this guy. I'm gonna go right. 
This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Here we are. I feel like I shouldn't be. I feel like the narrator's mad at me. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, Why are the blinds drinking it closed? all in. I want the blinds open. How are they supposed to get their daily sunlight? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Oh, I could ignore him again, though. I'm gonna do it. <gasps> What's in here? Oh, blueprints. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift is $5,000. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Uh, what could it mean? Oh my god. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh god. Oh, the aspiration to piss off the narrator is too high. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with it this time. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Wow. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive-aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not co supporting you more. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic with the header and throw some bevel on the text. This will ensure a calm environment using everyone is using is unique. You most of all. Wow, I am so unique. I'm unique you. Oh, oh god, the burpees. Number of slides on the slide charts, charts and slides and slides. I kind of want to see what more there is. I feel like the bevel's not strong as it could be. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> Rate of increase in graphs per slide. <laughs> Please, no more charts. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> the boss appreciation minute on your boss appreciation minute worksheet. Circle the top 20 things you love the most about your boss. Fill out the triplicate and return to your boss appreciation specialist. Solving the interpersonal conflict. If you find yourself in a conflict with more diligent employee like yourself, more of inclined towards conflict, unless you're the kind of person who in initiates conflict. Fuck, I didn't get to read it. What are your dreams for the future? Nature, talk radio, mitosis, transcend, charts and boats, success, plant life, lunch, football, pol uh, pollution. Trend. Why would pollution be on there? Clear skin, spring break, hope. Tips for getting not fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work at the same time every day with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. Okay. I think I did well with having fucking dyslexia trying to read. Oh, stairs. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's downstairs, though? Oh, it's red. Ooh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. <gasps> and in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Mm. All because he believed everyone had vanished. Wait. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. So everything's maybe, looking the same. he thought to himself, oh. maybe I am crazy. 
all of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all, none of it made any logical sense. It didn't. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh my god, my feet are gone. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Uh. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. Yeah. This is all a dream. It's a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Yeah. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Uh -huh. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yeah. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Am I floating? Then oh, he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my yeah. head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah, huh, narrator? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. My brain's getting mind fucked. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Maybe. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. I don't believe you. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... It's too he hard. would prove it. Mm. He would prove that he was in control. Okay. That this was a dream. Yeah. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Okay. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Uh, uh, uh. Please. No one wishes it's they could go I back want. to work when they wake up from a dream. I want my apartment mm -mm. and my wife and my job. Oh, we're married. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. So fine. I am okay. Oh, that didn't sound convincing. Fuck, I'm waking up in the same spot. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone oh, tell no. me I am real. Oh, I must no. be real. I must oh, be. Can anyone hear my down. voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Ah! Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. The camera's in a weird spot. It was comforting to think this, 
and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. Oh. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I don't blame her. Protest. Okay. Oh, and, and I'm, I'm bad. I'm I'm back here now. Sorry, I didn't realize my camera was not like properly in the top right. Uh. Oh, okay. That that was interesting. So Stanley was dead that way. I'm never going that. All of his again. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Fuck, you Perhaps thought I had, he had I thought simply I had missed a memo. Again. Okay. When Stanley came time. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go up and see our boss this time. Go up the stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What a gaudy office. What the fuck? Executive bathroom. I kind of like how it looks, though. There's a lot of red going on with this dark toned wood. No one's here, though. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Six, six, nine, six, two, oh. eight, four, five. But of course, Shit. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Shit. He's lagging. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Down. Oh, this is the first time we've got an actual loading screen. Descending train. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay, maybe we are the boss, and we just didn't know it. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Ah! But this one says escape. I want to know what's going on in here, though. The lights rose on an enormous room I'm packed an with television screens. I'm an what horrible secret did this place hold? I'm Stanley Professor X. Himself. I'm about to did use the room. Did he have strength to find out? Okay. I'm Professor X. Ooh, camera. Now the monitors jumped to oh, life. Fired. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of me, so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? What's this one? Do we eject them all? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh. But here was the proof. 
the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad mm. or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Yes. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so I think I... That says three. That one says five. Oh, one. And that's two. Okay, I'm gonna bet threes up top. One. Two. I bet the one up here is three. Oh fuck, it's still blocked off though. So maybe three is elsewhere? Console disabled. But this one says five. There's no way three's in there, right? Oh wait, no, wait, I forgot. This one said three. Okay, how am I supposed to get to four? How am I supposed to get to four? Four is clearly up here. <gasps> oh no, I can't, I can't dismantle it. Oh no, fuck. What happens if I just hit it? Okay, I guess I just go through. Hmm. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? I mean... Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. I mean... You were supposed yeah. to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Uh, if you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Uh, I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For what? example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, that's a problem. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire nuclear? complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? No! It's your time to shine. You are the star. What the fuck? It's your story now. This Shape it pressure. to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. You fucking more did. time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means? I barely oh, the know where to open start. This time. Wait, maybe What's if I that? hit. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Three. A moment of solace before you're maybe obliterated. Maybe this is where we do it. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. What? I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to but a But I hit them in order! I what the fuck this, do though. I do? This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control rested away from you, it's quite rich. Yeah, I, I almost hate to see it go. Oh, you dick. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. What the fuck? My goodness, only 34 seconds left. I can't leave. But I'm enjoying this so much. Ah! You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. I get everything Stanley. in order. Time doesn't grow on trees. What the fuck do I do? Do I maybe oh, dear now? me, what's the matter, Stanley? Fuck you. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing I right shit now? In order and you or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yeah. I mean, look at you, running from button to button, He's screen to funny. screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. <laughs> These numbered buttons, no these colored ones or maybe this big red button or this door 
everything, anything, well, something here this. will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That I this video know. game can be beaten? Maybe. One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Not at all! <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Oh, I can't. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh, you're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. You to son see of a bitch. you made humble. What the fuck? This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. No! Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Fuck! No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. You son of a bitch! Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? I don't know! Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. I don't all think there's shit I can do, you and little shit! And believe me, I will be laughing at every second oh, of God, your inevitable life from the moment we fade Goodbye, in Jack. until the moment I say, happily ever up. What the fuck? What the hell is this game? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. What happens if I when go? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah, I did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, I do want to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. It's what a, a nice beautiful meeting room. room. It's what got a, a coffee gorgeous, pot, a vending machine, room. light. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, I'll do it this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, what's this? It had a big red button, okay? I could not press it. Oh. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about yeah. and get even further off track. I did. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. So the other door's open, though? Okay, I have to go, okay, left. Oh, no. You no, it's to bitch. the right, my mistake. You fucking dickhead, I got right in front of the door frame. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? You asshole! What was I thinking? This one's also it's technically clearly... to the right, though. Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. Get the strike right. Come on, this buddy! This story is absolutely, definitely this way. That's entirely different. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're back here. No, 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 no. This told isn't me right to at go all. Here. You're not supposed to be here yet. This ah. is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Um. Okay, 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 okay. We just we just have to get back to um oh who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, yeah. we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Okay. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. From the top. Okay. All right. He spoiled me, that son of a bitch. Okay. When Stan... Wait. Wait, what? Huh? The door's no, not I open. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game Come over. On, completely man. fresh. Everything should be... It's not! You fucked it up! change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No! Did you move the story somewhere? How or... could I? Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm That's the one who wrote the story. I know. It was right here just a minute ago. Yeah! I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Uh, okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh! Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Can I go past the, the chairs one? Fuck, dude, that one's a cock tease. Chat, which one? Do you want me to go on the right or the left side? I ain't going down straight. Fuck that. Left or right? 
And then I'll choose the door from the right if you vote right. But left or right? All? That's not an option! Everything. All of them. Okay. Left, left, left. Okay, left we go. Okay. Let's go hard left. Uh, everyone knows what I'll you say did. It. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. They're I can promise you like there definitely quicker. was a story here before. I, Do it's we your just, fault, not mine. Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, my God. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over I and over again. I thought I was again. figuring out the pattern. It's got to be better than this. Fuck. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, Why not? Oh, my God. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. This narrative. Get your shit together, man. I'm going to sit down. This na fucking narrative. dude has got to get his shit together. Uh, okay, yep, it's worse. How did you fuck this up? I might up? be remembering this wrong. Uh, yeah, me it's too. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. I Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? What the fuck could I have missed? There was no information back here. You All right, no fucking door's open. I mean, there's a door open over there, but I don't think it's a le I feel like I gotta go all the way back. Dude, why, I didn't need reload. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. It's dark in here. Hey, man. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. I'm confused. Uh, bro, this looks really unfinished. Uh, so now my this, bathroom looks like right well, now. I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. I don't either. Is this the story? Did you load I the wrong save so. file? I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, uh, is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Yeah, I well, do. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yeah, it feels kind of like Lester, though. A lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good oh. job. But alcohol burps. Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. I know, I don't. We either. both know you didn't put in any actual work I for that didn't. win. I know, it's Some just people lackluster. Some win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Yeah, you kind of just okay. fucked it up. It's not my I'm fault. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Yeah, I me don't too. Care what might happen this time? I have to restart. Son of a bitch. Okay, just... Oh, wow! This is so kind of him. All right. Me, okay. I've got a solution. Yeah. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Gotcha. Just follow the line. How simple is that? It's very simple. I, can, I can't even fuck that one up. Okay. Here we go. To the... To the right? Huh? Does he know it's going this way? You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Oh. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination? I mean, even if there's no story there. Yeah. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Technically. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Oh, okay. Now, we can both agree that what the, the nature fuck? of existence Wait. is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? You Okay. Shut now, up. if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. I drank too much for this. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Please. Please get... Oh, okay. Wait, but... But didn't it just... Fuck! 
It took me back to the office, dude. What the fuck? I swear I followed the line. I followed the fucking line and it took me it took me back to the start. Huh? Oh, okay, we're going up the stairs now. Okay, okay, okay. It's on the walls. Okay, that's blocked off. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. It's a nice Stanley, fern. this fern will be very important later in the story. Because it's Make nice? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Remember you won't want to miss carefully. anything. One, two, three on the right. One, two, three, four, five on the left. One, two, three... Four, five on the left. Oh, six technically, one, two on the right then. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Count the leaves, chat. Okay. I'll remember that fern for the rest of my life. I miss my music. Wait, but we're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? No, the story? It does. I don't think it knows is what the fuck is going on. Is this ringing a bell? I don't think so. We're back oh, here. Oh no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to I've us? I've already technically been here, you, but like after everything we've been through, you. No, oh, I can't take <sighs> this anymore. To hell with it. All right. Restart. Ah. Uh, so much for the cheery attitude, sir narrator. Oh, he's not even going to talk to me anymore. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Yeah. Something exciting, I... daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah, fuck it, I'm down. Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a Huzzah! new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? I don't know. Go wild. I would like to Use find a dragon. I'd like to slay Whatever some bitches. Whatever it might be, Stanley. I would like I'm some cool, really it. fancy robes. Um, slay some mythical creatures, hang them on my wall like taxidermy. You know, all that for a really oh, nice fun. No, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line, line from to... having any role in our awesome new story. I know, story. it's really fucked no us up, huh? No monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. Okay, Mention I'll ignore it. years since I've played this game. Dude, it's fucking confusing, Bounty. Yeah, fuck the line. Fuck the hashtag, fuck the line. Uh, oh, the line's gone, that's nice. Ah, a choice. We it's get cool to make room. a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Yay! How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. Sure. I like walking okay. in circles. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, mm -hmm. which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, yes. there must be a reverse door that leads here. Mm -hmm. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. I like so red. starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. What if I don't want to go right? I'm going to go left. Fucking dick. The confusing ending. 
Deviate. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. The confusion ending. Ah! You're telling me. Bro, that's what I this don't. Is. I can't. I don't have. It's I don't have the brain power to read all this right now. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times. Ah! That's really how all this goes. What if I got a piss? It's all determined. Yeah. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Uh, no. Well, what if I don't want to forget? You don't need to forget. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing. Yeah, fuck up, narrator. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all yeah, of this? Yeah, yeah, dictate it, it really? buddy. No, it can't be. I'd, I don't want it to be. I, Tell him. I don't want the game to keep yeah, restarting. Yeah, you don't need to go away. I don't want to forget what's going on. Yeah. I don't want to be trapped like this. Yeah, I don't I either. won't restart the game. Yeah. I won't fuck, do it. Fuck I em. won't do it. Fuck I won't do it. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. And the timer it stopped. Nice, you did it. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Fuck yeah. The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? Mm hmm How would we even know? Uh-huh. Will someone come for us? Will something happen? No, probably not. So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's I'm a not story, quite yeah. sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Eventually. Sure. Well, in the meantime, if you... What in the fucking hockey buzzer did I just... What the fuck? I was getting really invested, dude. Fuck! Yeah. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. Did and it? if it did, it stopped shortly after. Okay, okay. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Okay. Yeah, I can't see outside, so... We're... Back here. Okay. Uh... When ah, Stanley came to a again. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Could you imagine how mad the narrator would get if I chose right after he just fixed it? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Mmm, fuck it. Wait. Oh yeah, I, I died last time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired we'll years ago. take it ago. normally. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Mm -hmm. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Oh, are you? I realize that investing in your trust in We're someone else up? can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's uh, someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Is it you? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Okay, you're right. We're I'm a partnership. Not for me. I'm asking for her. You're worried about my wife? This How is dare it, you? Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. How does he know about my wife? She's been waiting. What if I go back? Okay, it doesn't register that. What about if I try the door? Okay, I guess I have to go through my wife. My wife. My wife waits for me. My wife. It's black. That's her, Stanley. My wife. You need to be the one to do this. I must. To reach out to her. My wife. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. My wife. The fuck? Hey, Stanley, is that you? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. What? Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Maybe. Who'd want to commit their life to you? What the fuck? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to fuck get you, you to see Stan. something. Fuck you, narrator. Come inside. Let me show you what's you really going on You know I just got married, here. motherfucker. Yeah, I got, I got my, my loving wife is upstairs playing Valorant. Uh, honestly, that's worse than this. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, 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 wait. 
the death of a man named Stanley? Excuse Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Huh? He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to the do. The fuck else am I supposed now to do? Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic <laughs> discoveries right <laughs> of new lands. Oh, I got one wonderful. lime left. I didn't know that. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Mm. The thought excited him terribly. How did they know? So, he did went you just further. spend time with the boys? He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Do I also eat the pulp? Uh, I eat this much. Oh, I found out the other day why my teeth are still white. By the way, my teethers, these chompers, it's because I drink so much milk. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Apparently the pH in milk balances out what you eat because women are more likely to get cavities and all this other shit. But what counters it? I'm not kidding. Milk. <laughs> I saw a lady ranting about it the other day. So apparently all the milk I've been drinking is part of the reason I've been keeping cavities and all this other shit away. What? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many right possible there? paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it huh. the Stanley Parable. Be to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah, restart it. Fuck it. Press G to tell your wife, I love you, my wife. My wife. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. My wife. Huh? My wife. What's up? I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? The game told me my wife didn't love me, so I called you. Uh, <laughs> I love you. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> the longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. <laughs> Homie was so invested in Valorant. Get <laughs> your own clicking. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Yeah, fuck you. Here. 
Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Uh, my hands are off the keyboard. What if I, ooh, what if I do press a different button? Oh, I didn't do anything. Sorry, I was just checking the butter reader. Okay, I guess we have to. You see? Can he just not hear me? I didn't How can have I any... tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? A uh, mirror! I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. Yeah, you pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> this narrator's so sick of me, bro. <laughs> Will it be normal? Oh, it is. But he hasn't said anything yet. He's Already quiet. Already this was uncomfortable. Yeah, a And little. Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again mm -hmm. in his life. Okay. I'm safe here. What if I don't want to leave now? Okay. Never mind. When Stanley came to a set mm -hmm. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, let's go left this time. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Last time I got so I'll Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh my god, I did. Can I go in the bathroom this time? Oh, I can! Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Well, I could go in the bathroom this time. That was kind of cool. It's a nice, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice bathroom. Can I go in there again? Wow, how nice of them. The blue is a nice contrast to the red. Makes me feel very calm in here. I could take a nice, soothing, and relaxing shit in this bathroom. Like, it's so, con so nice of them to even put a glass of water and a nightstand right there. Think about it. Where's the toilet paper? It's literally right there, bro. It is kind of in an awkward place to reach. Like, why would you not put it under the windsill, windowsill, like, right there? That is an interesting decision. That's an awkward place to reach. Yeah. It is, it's fit. Listen, I know you said like, where was it at first? But it is in a weird spot. It's in a really weird spot. Oh, hold on. Before we move on to this. You know what my dad showed me a couple weekends ago? Peanut butter and jelly drink. This motherfucker. He bought peanut butter whiskey. Grace's, what Welp's great grape. Whatever the fuck it's called, Grace's, whatever the fuck it is. I can't remember the name of it right now. And you put the two together, and it literally tastes like a peanut butter and jelly. Welch's grapes. That's what it is. Fuck, sorry. I've had a little bit to drink, so I'm like fucking it up right now. Thank you. Little, like, they come in the little bottles, like non alcoholic, okay? The little, like, regular bottles of Welch's grape. You put that in peanut butter whiskey. And it smells like a PB&J. And it literally tastes like a PB&J. It is a dangerous drink. But if you're looking for a new drink that, and you don't like the traditional shit, that stuff's so good. My dad showed me that a couple weekends ago. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's really good. It is really good. If you don't like alcohol, that shit's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really good. What's the ratio? That's a good question. Hey, Dad. Hello? Yeah. I got a quick question for you on stream, okay? What's yeah. What's the ratio for the peanut butter and jelly drink? I don't know. It's at it's, it's least one one shot of the the uh, screwball peanut butter, and then I usually put the small thing of grape juice, you know? 
Perfect. Okay. No, we were talking about drinks, so. Yeah, use a half of the grape juice. Half That's of the small. grape juice. Okay. I have to go tell you how many ounces downstairs. Do you need to know it that bad? No, nah, no. I was just curious because I was talking about on stream how you had me try that and that shit was really good. So that was all. That's it. All right. Thank you, Dad. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> we got two phone calls tonight. There you go. You've got your answer. One to one. <laughs> Homie woke up from a nap. I could tell. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh my God. What could it mean? Like they have a tie Stanley back wondered there. aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books oh. off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his mm. attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? Awarded fact, the getting any of the other had teammates. guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Is it the same? 2845. It is. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, we go. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh my god, it did. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, so I think there's only two... To, uh, I think I just have to go to the escape this time. Because last time I went straight. I didn't escape. Stanley walked straight ahead the through rooms. the large door that read Mind no. Control Facility. I already facility. went there. Fuck that. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you liking it? It's confusing. <laughs> and I'm already intoxicated, so it's making it like 10 times worse. It's a loop. <laughs> it's a fucking loop and a half. <laughs> it's so funny. I called my dad waking him up from his nap. You did not call him. I did. Because I was talking about the peanut butter and jelly drink, and I asked him, chat asked what the ratio was. So I was like, oh, let me ask. He woke up from his nap and he told me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's so sweet about it. He's like, it's a, it's a one to one. <laughs> of course he knew it. Uh, of course he knew it. I know. It's so funny. And when we go visit, if we bring any buddies with us, he always has them try it, dude. It's been his thing for the last like month. <laughs> Taylor. What? Come show your ring. They were curious. I showed them mine, and they were curious what yours looked like. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, you were at a good spot uh, with that. Uh, the next, the next year's? Yeah. So he's got white, gold, and gold, like I do. So they complement one another. So why are you moving it? Well, I'm trying to look at it. We're Stop. We're we're Stop. We're I'm trying to look at your fucking eye. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's got a slight bevel to it. Like, it's like a three ridge. Like, you see where it... Yeah, you can see the texture kind of there better. God, I have to fucking walk go. him through it. Like, Thanks, he's a babe. goddamn child. There you go. Yeah. Hold, hold the knuckles. There you go. <laughs> there you go. No, that was nice. Can you rub that hand, actually? Shut the fuck up, on, dude. Now he wants a hand or massage. The money. Uh, right here? It's the best. That's the spot. Uh, if you if you fucking code on a computer, this uh, is the spot. No, it's, it's all this, too. Though. I know it's, like, through here. He's gonna it's, fucking hand uh, massage, dude. Come on, need, need the mouse hand. We gotta go click more heads. We gotta click more heads. You we... pussy, you pulled away from that. Yeah, dude, don't just squeeze it. Tight. It's... I am rubbing it, you little shit. You're just fucking pressure pointing me. Ah, your nails. Ow. N my nail is not even touching you. Ow. Rub my hand. Look, this, look at the difference. Look at the difference here. Look at the difference. <laughs> what Wait. did I do wrong? I did the same thing. You're like, you're like, look, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing, I'm. But that feels good. That's what I want. It's like you with my rubbing my feet. Yeah. All right. No, hold on. You, you barely did my right hand. Nope. No. You're barely putting pressure on it, dude. The fuck? You lazy little shit. <laughs> lazy. <laughs> oh, speaking of people, look who came downstairs. The man of the hour. 
but of course, Stanley thought Wait. better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yeah, f no, fuck that nope. up. Still on board with death? <laughs> I didn't realize I was going backwards. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> fuck. This game, playing intoxicated, is something else. The door behind him was not shut. Yeah, fuck that. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nah. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward mm -hmm. and willingly confront his death. Mm -hmm. Ooh, red light. Oh, <gasps> scary. Oh, I can jump into a hole. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his oh. demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Uh -oh. Trapped forever in his narrow vision oh, of what I'm this get squished. Is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to I'm his not brief ready. and shallow life. Farewell, I got so many moms left to fuck! No! Ah! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Wait, Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh A narrator for the narrator. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Huh? What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? That's a great question. Sounds like this narrator sucks. Okay, I'm going towards... A really nice Roman column pillar. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Motherfucker. They killed me. Hold on, let's read this shit. This is gonna be hard right now. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. The two doors. The set of two open doors was very, the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as the extension of it and exploration of the contradiction to the room post. What's this other one? office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path of Stanley's office and the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. What the fuck? Office computers. Door one, two, three. Button sounds? <laughs> Okay, sounds like some portal shit. That door don't work. Credits? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what? Did I find the end of the game? Office clock. Boss's Wait, the boss's office can look differently outside of red? What the fuck? Screens from the development of the boss's office. What the fuck? Underground? An early version of the underground portion of the game. Oh, what the fuck? I, I feel when like Stanley I'm came to the lift. He traveled upward to the power source at the top of the facility to end this injustice forever. 
Kevin Brighting, the voice of narrator, recorded the dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. The These are clips from early takes that we are not used in the final game. What the fuck? This is actually really cool. The lounge. I'm in some trippy shit right now, dude. Freedom ending? Wait, what? There was a freedom ending? This is the very first incar incarnation of the freedom ending. What? Countdown desk, one of the desks, an early version of the countdown ending. Freedom ending. Monitor room, elevator, I remember that. Countdown room, I remember that shit. Zending model, the zending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again before launch. So that's when it was unfinished. <gasps> What the? Oh, wait, what the fuck? This looks like Portal. The screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. <gasps> what? Zending lovers? These lovers were originally part of Zending. The na player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe the color they had pulled. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms in the voice of the narrator informing viewers that they're repairing a new version of Stanley Parable. What the fuck? This is trippy. Wait, so I found the ending? Considering we're going through all of this? I'm surprised I found that so fast. Um, the game is now... Pa I guess I went through kind of everything else. Escape menu... For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what was supposed to be done, which was frustrating for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I kind of beat the game by dying, didn't I? Meeting room. Option one, disobey and go to the lounge. Oh my god, there's so many options here. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. Confusion ending. And there's a vent. The maintenance layout. Uh, the flow of hallways following the first two doors was important to get right. Since players will replay them so many times, we discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the simplest version that won out. Oh. I think I went through the vent before, right? Didn't I? Okay, we remember the phone. We did that one. The apartment timer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, in the previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh! What? The cargo lift. The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping off a different path. Yeah, I did jump. I jumped, like, immediately. However, after this early version was decided, we also went wanted the option of the player falling to their death. Yeah, I fell to my death. Like, immediately. I think that was the first thing I did. The cargo lift, the second version of the functionality, the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. Huh, okay. The office. Smells like a reserve. The lounge, early version of the lounge. Okay, so they changed the lounge actually quite a bit. This is weird. Smells like a game design mock-up. Okay, so we're back there, so we should go this way. <gasps> what? Stanley's office from the left to the right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. Oh, wow. So they actually added a lot to Stanley's office. Two computers, one computer, and more shit at his desk. Okay. This is confusing. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we initially planned to use the further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here's a section of those emails. Hi, Mr. Narrator Guy. I have a question for you, sir. And it is, what is your message for today? Sincerely, Harris. Uh, there's a skeleton inside of you. There are more skeletons in the world than humans. Thank you and goodbye, Civ. Mm -hmm. A question brought forth by the intense passion of my soul. Am I Stanley? Are you spying on me? I donate. Why? How? Oh my God. So they just show the emails and no answer. Will the game feature capybaras? 
<laughs> I feel like that's such a modern age question, not an old one. Dear narrator, how do you stay in shape? Sincerely, Michael the Rock Martin. Are you gay? <laughs> I like that it's my dink dunk. Oh my God. That was so, it switched so fast. Are you gay? I appreciate the previous Stanley games at work of art and the, sta uh, the standalone title. I appreciate the credit given to the art, which is why I'm eager to see the sequel prequel of standalone. Uh, censoring, it needs this. Oh fuck, I couldn't read it all. The Stanley Parable Infinite Questions. How many endings the Stanley Parable is really good to let you go shopping? I hope it will have a fine selection of desert boots. What the fuck? Cameron crazy. I guess we don't about, go down here. Warzone? What the fuck? That's, tr that's some Tron shit right there. What? Early in development, we di designed an ending where Stanley ends up on a battlefield fighting aliens. What? The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of the people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Kind of feels like a cop out. I feel like that was really funny. Ultra Deluxe announcements in December 2018. We announced the Ultra Deluxe version of the Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. There are screenshots of the video as we made for announcement in the game's delay. Okay. So we're back here now. So I found the ending. So that's it, I guess. Am I wrong? That's it? Yeah? I did it right, right? We're at the ending. I don't think there's anything else. It's just the view everything, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's GG's, right? That is an ending. Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. There's more. There's so much more. The ending? How do I leave this then? You found one of the many. Yeah, I know I found quite a few others. I found quite a few other endings, but I don't, I don't think I can leave this though. Oh, wait, maybe I missed this. <laughs> oh, look at these two. Oh. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Huh? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Yeah. No. Okay. Not. Never mind. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Uh. But listen to me. You can still save those two. Oh, you fuck. You can stop the program. I'm still gonna get scrubbed. Scrub. Push escape squished. and press fuck. quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let I had to. I had to. I was so curious. I got squished. Oh. I'm back. Holy shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> Wait, new content? Oh, new content? Huh? What does that mean? What? New content. Huh? Just when I thought we were done. What the fuck? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Why, thank you for having me. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 yeah. on home computers. Yeah, I remember it being really popular. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Wow. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Looks like we can go left, though. Okay, uh, uh, Ultra Deluxe content, here we go. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing With special fake yet, grass. but I'm sure it's Ooh. just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. 
Yeah. Wow. Here we go. I, I'm just um, in here. Okay. Is it broken? Yeah. What's going on? It here? might be broken. I'm Should awkwardly we... in here. Should we be moving somewhere? Or yeah, up? I feel like... Oh, oh here we go. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've yeah, never been more here we go. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. Whee! It's as if... Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Oh. Give me the content, Stanley. Oh, it's back this way. Okay. What? All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. That's it? Nothing else? The fuck? Oh, wrong one. Still the wrong one. Still the wrong one. There we go. That's the vent sound I was looking for. Okay. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Yeah. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Uh huh. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just for me? Just our little secret. Take a look. Aww, I want to look at our little secret. <gasps> it's I so pretty. Call it the memory zone. Ah! It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of it my life so nice. whenever I want. Experiences like the launch <gasps> of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh my god, I love it. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Yeah, Remember tell him. back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Mm -hmm. Back then, it all meant something. Back then, games weren't oh, 200 yes. gigs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, one for a bill. That can't get you shit nowadays. You can't even get a pack of gum without two or three dollars. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Don't play for five years? Oh, well. And it's impossible to get this achievement. How the fuck do I get that? Mm -hmm. Nominees, nominees. All the time, Stanley Parable deals tough just choices. Mm. Yeah, back then games were under fifty dollars. You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is, is nice. Reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 wow. out of 10 from Destructoid.com. Wow. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. Mm -hmm. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley knew, Parable was. I knew Future Me would like it the Deer Sausage. It was literally every game I'm ever really created. It, right it was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Mm. Tell them. Oh. What's down here? Okay, never mind. What's down here? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in mm -hmm. games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Mm. It didn't need anything else. Yeah. It didn't need new content. Yeah. It just Think needed again. to be left alone. Think again. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Tell him. Tell him, Mr. Narrator. Ooh, there's a door. Wait, the door opened over here with those boxes in the way. 
am I supposed to get around? Let's see. I want to go to the series room. Mr. Narrator? What am I supposed to do? No! I want to go see the... I guess I have to go over here. <sighs> the greatest wealth in, in memory. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, we're going to the maintenance room now. Wait. Okay. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. I don't either. What's this? What's down here? Oh, there's a lot of oh, random no. shit. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the oh, no. online video game distributor. Not random I reviews! I not in years. I can't even imagine what's you mean, been collecting down You mean here. people that have been Surely drinking and then re submit the well, reviews and try to refund the game two hours in? Oh, no. Oh, not a not recommended review! Don't look at it! Close your eyes! Oh, the horror! No! Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator ah! is obnoxious and unfunny no! with his humor and dialogue no! proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! No! I'm not trying to be funny. Not unfunny! I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags gone, to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Those are real reviews too? No way. <laughs> uh, I love that. Oh, no, not another one. Okay, let's see what this one says. Shoot, well, the idea well, I graduated from good, high school that age. Mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? No, you're not. Don't listen you to him. Tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, you did I'm great! Don't to listen to them! But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. You have a great track record. Don't let I them bring you down, narrator. Like a failure. No, like no, you're I not a failure. You're down. my best buddy. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always No, it's remembered. so sterling. I've enjoyed it so much. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. Very you parable constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded <gasps> explanations of what's happening. How dare they? I wish there was a skip button. He's not, doesn't talk that a much. skip button. Well, well That's yes. fucked up. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment. You're not Surely that preachy. You're fine. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Here we go. Skip button. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what piss. the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have so delivered. You can stare at the piss no more button. listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable oh, is a game for the people, here, you, and if the people want yeah. silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time the manufacture, the it went on for talking? nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only What's thing it? there what? is. How what? many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is Taylor why I say... Taylor put the toilet paper roll on backwards. The story and the choices, or what have what the you. fuck and is going on? And therefore, by becoming it is. Now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until, Please. until just yesterday. Well, it's here been and looping? there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left Are you sure until it's been so looping? much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll hit it. I'll hit it. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue well, full pissed. of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Sorry. Of I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more Sorry, profound I'm a little such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps of less sausage, of a rumination what? and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've... I hit skip again. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any... Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're re Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I don't care. Uh. Oh. Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. I don't care. How am I supposed to? Every Call of Duty player has this problem. I gotta hit the button. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. Wait, it was meant to have a the point. The it fuck? was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, I don't care. Who asked? Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Give me button. Give me button. Uh, y yes. Skip. The end is never the end. 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 Uh. Sure, I can reach that button. I am nine feet tall. I can, of course, reach this button. I might have to bend down for it. Oh, uh, things are breaking. That's that. That's. I feel a draft in here. Might be a problem. Oh, the light. Can I touch grass? Finally. Oh my god! I can't wait. Please. Let me skip farther forward so I can touch grass. <gasps> so much grass to touch. Yes! Yes! Oh, let's enjoy the sunlight for a moment. Hello. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Okay. Cruzadar says they are nine feet tall. Our data shows three feet ten inches. L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L you, you fight. No, 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 no. I, I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking pause a minute here. I, I am nine feet tall. I don't know who told you. Three ten. Three ten. Are you kidding me? Twitch lie detector doesn't lie. No, 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 no. No, that didn't. Did you hear how fast that lie detector went? It was. 
was so fast. It was so fucking fast. It did not give me a proper read. I refuse. That thing gave me a false read. I am nine feet tall, dude. She has never claimed to be nine feet tall. She has claimed to have a nine foot cock. Both. I have both, damn it. Bro, shorter than her chat, her cat. Uh, the, that's generous. It's more like three nine and three quarters. How would you know? Have you seen the pictures at TwitchCon that I took with people? I was pretty fucking Hello. tall. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Kuzadar says they are nine feet tall. Our data shows three feet nine inches. Fuck you and your fuck your L's. How did I get shorter? A whole inch shorter? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Adobe exists. Oh, oh, really? Really now? All right, I'll have you know I was taller than Retrix. Okay, I'll have you know. And and he claims to be close to six feet tall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You go. You can go look at the images. I definitely didn't tweet a picture of my heels that I wore at TwitchCon. Nope, no, sir. No, sir. A solid nine feet. Lose an inch when you lie about your height. I'm not Pinocchio, okay? I grow with every lie that I say. That's why my cock is nine feet. Oh, God. Red! Hello? Hello. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Cruzadar says they are nine feet tall. Yes. Our data shows three feet seven inches. Hello, this is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Cruzadar says they are nine feet tall. Our data shows two feet seven inches. Another one. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a statement regarding Rectrix. Oh! Cruzadar says Rectrix is short but claims to be six feet tall. Yeah, I do claim Our that. data shows that to be correct. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Th Thank you. Thank you for your service, Twitch Lie. I I'm glad the Twitch Lie detector finally got it right that Rectrix is indeed fucking short. Thank you. Finally. Finally something right from the Twitch Lie detector test, dude. Wow. Thank you so... Thank you. You know what? Because of that, I'll actually continue playing the game. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot how nice this little moment was. Hello. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a statement regarding Rectrix. Cruzadar says Rectrix is short but claims to be six feet tall. Uh, Our data shows that to be correct that he no, is indeed not! six feet. Have a wonderful day. LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
you call me 5'4"? There's three cruises in a trench coat. Will not stand for the slander. Fuck, fuck you and your skip button. I'm hearing weird shit down here. Okay. Oh, oh, we're at an angle now. That does this doesn't feel good after you've been drinking for a bit. Hello. This is a Twitch lie detector system. Oh. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Cruzadar says they are nine feet tall. Our data shows two feet five inches. Cruz is entering into super liar territory slash. LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
which is why I am very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Yes! Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An so entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could oh, go wow, in so many sequel. different directions. Yeah. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Yes, they have. This is what I'm talking about. I want a whole new fuck. I want a burger in the game. I don't want to pay for the fucking buns, the patty, and have to pay for 30 extra dollars to get the goddamn cheese, the fucking tomatoes, the onions, the, the fucking sauce. I want it all included, and then I want to pay for the fucking fries. They get it. Understand. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Yes. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Oh. But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Oh, hey, look, they brought the fern back. Fern Gully. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember Fern Gully? I, Gun Gully? I fucking feel like that's a lost film, dude. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Yes. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh, wow. New features? Oh, my God. The new content. Oh, we go to the Hall Expo? Okay, quite the line here. What, what even is this? I... I just want to see if he will say it. Fuck. I go badge now. Oh, you have unleashed a beast on chat. You have unleashed a beast. A beast. <laughs> God damn it, Val. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and I haven't finished this fucking game. <laughs> Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. No! I don't want to. There's so many features. What the fuck is up here? What's this? What's over this way? No screenshots. Don't take screenshots, chat. You hear that? The button that says the, the name of the player that is playing it. They'll never know it's me. They can't know it's me. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players they really know want? They won't know it's me. And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Yeah, he won't So know with me. that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. I bet you'll Isn't say that it. Isn't wonderful? Me, me, me. I bet you're going to say it wrong. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says Jim. the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience no, of this feature. Jim. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, no. here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named I'm, Jim. No, I'm not I Jim! I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken Jim. as Jim. No. Seizing all of the world's Don't you call me Jim. Don't wait Jim. to me and say and Jim. Jim. watching your dreams crumble into dust. Uh, Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? No, I'm if not. If so, then please step forward and press the button. No, fuck you. I'm not pressing the button. I can't fucking leave. God fuck my life. Hi, I'm Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush, that was you, the button described you, do it again, do it again. I feel like I'm listening to Twitch chat doing the fucking lie detector right now. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. 
Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Don't call me Jim. Fuck you, Chad. I am not Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose <gasps> yes. all yes. chance of who you Jim is also two feet three inches. Just so you can get into character. Easier to get into character if you share attributes. Like being short. Fuck. I tried to hit it again, I swear. Oh, another. Hello. This is the Twitch lie detector system. We've heard a lie that needs to be addressed. Cruzadar says she is not Jim. Our data shows gingerly name registered as Jim Cruzadar. LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
No, hold on, hold on. We're going to grade the... juices is this our first married fight fuck no it's not but it's about taylor cut my law one of these needs to be fixed he just fucking went out to smoke he closed the door on me that motherfucker <laughs> that son of a bitch <laughs> couple of these are edible the other two are dude look how big this is that may as well be half a lime like look at those a couple two of these i can manage the other half no enjoy my limes jim did you fucking call me shut up i'm not jim oh wowie i cannot believe taylor cut them that big shouldn't he know better after all Cruise is only two feet one inch. Flowers limes need to be cut into 30 seconds. Shameful. Fuck. L L L L L L L L L L L. Short LL. Imagine being a Minecraft stan when there's this content out there. We're about to have a fucking four hour goddamn video on YouTube, bro. Settings world champion. Infinite hole. Free achieve free achievement. I like the sound of free achievement. Free, new, and easy achievement? Ooh. Free? Free achievement? Yeah. Oh, wow, I just gotta pull a lever? Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to... Okay, perhaps Jim I should have clarified. Jim, just be person this and let all of it go. Oh, wait. This technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I get Oh my god, chat. Holy fuck. I have to tell you, it's so funny. I put a tweet out, okay? This is how bad porn bots are on Twitter. I put a tweet out that drugs are bad, okay, as a South Park skit, and I put one of the Little Misfortune videos with it, and a porn account rage bait responded to it, bro. Oh my god. I was dying. I fucking hid the reply, and I blocked that bitch. But it was, I am not kidding. Porn bots are so advanced that they rage respond to you trying to get more impressions by rage baiting. I'm not even kidding. That's a fucking thing now. Porn bots are so bad on Twitter that they literally will rage reply to you. Yes, dude. They were like, I'm so offended. Bye. I was like, there's no way this is a person. Then I went and I looked and their whole fucking OnlyFans page. I'm like, bro, you a fucking who? Like, are you that that's the shit you're doing? Fucking hide reply and block. Like, <laughs> think you can get repre fucking impressions on my goddamn tweet? Think again. <laughs> that was so bad. Dude, they're so bad. I'm convinced they target fucking Twitch streamers because they know it's so bad on the platform. I am convinced they know it's so bad on the platform that they fucking target Twitch streamers communities that are fucking women bro i have not seen any of my male counterparts have a problem with tweeting but the minute i tweet something there's two or three fucking porn bots i gotta block immediately right off the bat dude they literally follow accounts and fucking just oh my god i i always hit hide reply and block on those fucking it's so it's so annoying that said fuck twitter join discord you don't have to deal with that shit guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature gamers we hear you gamers. and i promise it will happen all right i gotta hit it again on a cheek god damn it i have to go backward i thought i was gonna get a free achievement damn it motherfuckers they lied to me 
All right. What have we not seen yet? All right. Let's see. No screenshots. Don't take screenshots, chat. You hear that? Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. Ooh. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. <gasps> but I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Stepneys? Who the... <laughs> no, stop it. Bad chat. Bad. Quit it. No screenshots. All right. They said no screenshots. Happy 12th birthday, niece. Get well someday. I think get well someday. You know, sometimes when Kinda you solicit another though. person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Yeah. Happy 12th birthday, oh. step niece. it is. Okay, never mind. Well, fuck my opinion. God damn it. Can I, can or actually, <laughs> maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. <laughs> Come now, bad you've chat. already made your choice. Bad. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move Twitch, on from our Twitch mistakes. Twitch fucked up giving you guys 60 extra fucking animated emote slots. They fucked up, dude. Now you got a screenshot emote you can actually fucking use. Look, a merch store. Wow. Do you know we have merch? I don't think we have it. Do we have any? Do we even have any merch in stock? Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I lied. There's a couple ring tees and I guess protector tees that are left. So if you want to get one of the... What do we even have in those? Small, medium, large, extra. Large. There must be must not be that much left if that's the case. And medium and large. Well, okay. Well, if you're a medium, a small to large, if you're if you're looking for some tees, look at that. Merch plug. Easy peasy. You heard Jim in the game. You heard Jim. Oh, I did hear Jim. Wait, we went this way already, though. Wait, what? Where the fuck I am? Jump circle, infinite hole. What? I think this is the only place I haven't gone yet. Oh, <gasps> infinite hole. Oh, your mom is going to be up ahead. I know it. The hole I can never forget. <gasps> yes, Stanley, yes, 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 here's yes, an idea yes, yes, that I'm yes, truly yes, yes, fond yes, yes, of. Yes, yes, it's yes. never been done before in a video game. Yes, 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 this yes, is, yes, in yes, fact, yes, yes. a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. I'm good. I'm hmm. kind of comfortable here. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. I'm comfy. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. The hole, the hole's getting smaller. I'm kind of enjoying this. It's a nice hole, isn't it? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Mm. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Mm. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It's it is. In here, isn't is it, it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Mm -hmm. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a. Oh! Okay, well, good ah. for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Fuck. You found me out. It wasn't infinite! I'm a liar and he lied. cheating. You're so clever. Look. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Me? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. It's your Maybe fault. Maybe you're Fuck the you. problem. No, I'm not. You are. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why Whatever. didn't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole <sighs> mostly infinite whatever if fine that works for you yeah, then go yeah. ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on i'll just be up here when you're ready what if i don't press it still you know when you're comfy but your face feels like tv static great now i'm very excited to show you even oh for heaven you see i was right the problem is you the problem is that you like holes too much uh... 
A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. It goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You he underestimated who I was. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly. I didn't make an infinite hole, but uh, I didn't think it was that not infinite. Yeah, it was pretty short this well, time. Well, I suppose, once again, there's nothing to do here. If okay. you decide you've had enough of the hole, okay, I've had you enough. can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. All right, I'll join you. Had enough? I'm no, I, I want to go again. Thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? <laughs> You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... <laughs> it's wow. shorter. Really? Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily yeah. less and less infinite. What the fuck? I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Yeah, what the fuck? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. You should have known anyway, I like holes. Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. I think that's a good idea. Well, there it is. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth... But I still I wanted to touch it. Scratching the itch. I just wanted to oh, touch it. Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to we do. We just talked about judgment at the start of stream, goddammit. move on. No, I'm not ready to leave. I like it here. It's nice and comfortable. I don't care if it's only a few inches deep, goddammit. All right, I'm above average. All right, this ain't shit to me. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean... Remember I really to don't... try focus fuel if you need to get hard. Focused. It's great for filling your hole. Day with energy. Don't get calm. Affordable. Get did focused. You did, you guys, did you guys see the edit that I made of that last night? Hold on, let me... Hold on, let me unmute it. Do you guys... I, I whipped this up last night because it cracked me up so much after stream. Uh, Fire Monkey, thank you for the 500 bitties. I appreciate it. Can I... Uh, oh, hold on. I was just going to read it. Can you show how to open a Focus Fuel bag? I got the full size for the first time and can't figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay, so... So you need to... You rip it, okay? You rip it. And then you open it. So you, so you want to put your finger... You see this flap right here? There's like a tiny little piece that you can pull. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that and then voila, it's open. But yeah, you have to look for this little no flap in there. Time. Thankfully still haven't recovered from last time. <laughs> Me trying to dig for my fucking tampon is like this. <laughs> <laughs> the tampon string, bro. Fucking in between your flap. Me two hours ago for the bathroom break. <laughs> Okay. So the flaps. God. Uh, <laughs> I was proud of myself. That was a good promotional tweet. Jackie, it is so fucking real. It is so fucking real. It's not even funny. If you're a fucking woman that has a period, you fucking know what I'm talking about. That is, it, you know what I fucking mean. All right. Cruz, it's 11 p.m. You need to finish this fucking game. It's 1056. It's not 11 p.m. God damn it. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Okay. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No! It's a win for everyone. Son you of a get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. You fucking I hope shit. You in the hole. I would, I would, I would rather have nothing than this fucking hole. Fuck you, narrator. <laughs> He's gonna miss me. He'll miss me. He's gonna miss me. He's gonna miss me in this shallow fucking hole. He, he, one day, one day he'll miss me. One day he's gonna regret it. Any day now. Any day now, he's gonna regret this infinite hole in myself. <gasps> it's getting deeper. Yes! Oh my god. Fuck you, narrator. I'm getting everything I wanted and more. Yeah! Oh, I'm. Oh god, everything here is rewarding. God, I love this game. Finally, I can 
You guys can witness my IRL height! Nine feet! Now fuck changing perspective. I like this one. Yeah! Point of view. See, this is how you were actually conceived. This is, do you guys remember being in the womb and this is what you saw? I paved the way for your success. I paved the way for your success, okay? This is what you saw. I know it's really hard to remember, but this, this is what you saw right before you came out of your mom's womb. This was it. This, this, this was it right here. All right, I gotta change. Okay. Oh, this is like, awfully aggressive. Okay. G is a lie. What the fuck is going on? Narrator, save me! Hunt, change your reality with H? Oh, there's puppies. Oh, these are really cute. Hold on, we can stay here for a minute. Hold on, let me move my camera for you guys. Water! Chug, chug. Okay. Uh, change your reality. Change yourself, J. I'm a fucking... I'm upside down. Oh my god, what the hell? What am I? I'm a monster! What? The style! It's never ending! <laughs> I like the upside down. I don't recommend this game drunk. No stone hinge, okay? Stanley! Save me, narrator! Stanley! Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, <sighs> drifting away into dreamland. Yeah, I but did. Of that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating. I know. I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Thank you. You don't want to miss a single moment. Nope, not a single. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? To keep you really, truly focused on the hole. I think that's a great idea. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Fuck. I'll be back. Toodle no. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, come on. Let's go down again. I'm ready to have a really weird trip. Oh, we're reloading. Oh, well. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Stanley Pair Reassurance Bucket? What the fuck is this? Mm. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say. Bad chat. How do you call me, Jim? It's fucking shame, though. Shame that after much consideration i've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game it's the stanley parable reassurance bucket you see stanley anytime you're holding <gasps> the bucket a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart give me, give me, give me, give me. as long as you hold on to the bucket give me, give me, the give me. many disorienting on, contradictions of the stanley the parable will give me the feel bucket. perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting you may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance I want it. while Give the, me the bucket. bucket is in your arms. Give me the and bucket. To be honest, it's a much more convenient Give me the solution bucket. for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Give me the you bucket. You imagine what a pain in the ass that would be. Yes, the bucket, me the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Yeah! And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Mm -hmm. 
I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Yes, they do. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable, too. Fuck, but we're only on the Ultra Edition. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. Okay. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't Give already. me it. Give me the reward. Come on, I didn't get the free award earlier. They're not going to give me the fucking award. Okay, what's up here? What about the collectibles? I already tried the free achievement in the fucking infinite hole. What's this? <gasps> oh, this looks cool. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Mm. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle... I think that's a great spot to stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Booze Cruise and my playthrough of Stanley Parable. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hello, GM. Congratulations on unlocking this exclusive ending just for you. Yeah. This only appears when a lie detector detects 1,337 lives during this game. Of course. The streamer crews of Dark claims they are 9 feet tall. Our data shows this is true. If they wear high heels 6 feet 5 inches high. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, Helly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>